Thank you, Tim. Now a story that Target 12 investigators broke first. The new Narragansett Indian Tribe Council has taken control of the tribe's administration building months after its new members were elected. Tension between two factions of the tribe has been bubbling now for months, but today's changeover took place peacefully. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau is here now with more details. Target 12 has been tracking this tribal dispute for over a year. Some expected hostility today, but we're told it was a smooth transition. On-duty officers were here at tribal headquarters in Richmond to keep the peace, and state police were said to be on standby. The tribe also hired retired police officers to help just in case. You're going to have disgruntled people when there's a shift of power. What change is here? and it has to be adhered to. It was all illegal. Chief Matthew Thomas was impeached by the new council in October, but he has since called the council members imposters and claimed his impeachment was invalid. He told us this earlier this month. People didn't like Obama. I mean, they tried to impeach him, they tried to impeach Clinton, they're trying to impeach me. Everybody isn't going to like me. In a federal lawsuit, Thomas's opponent said he was not qualified to be chief due to his Florida residency, and the suit states he refused to give up his powers, including control of the tribe's finance. NOCA said now that the locks are changed, the tribe will take a closer look at its budget. We have in a $2.5 million deficit. We are moving forward with transparency and accountability. We can no longer go or survive like this as a nation. A good day today. Tribal elder Paula Dove Jennings didn't name names, but did say there are people to blame for the tribe's issues. Some people's egos or their pockets get in the way. We still love them and will forgive their misdeeds. Neither Thomas nor medicine man John Brown have returned requests for comment from Target 12. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.